What's up, Vape Fam? It's Vape and Monkey, and I'm back to bring you a review on the Tugboat version 3. Um, I have to say, first impressions on this thing, it is hella cool. Um, the new airflow is quite different. I actually find myself closing down the uh, side, or closing up the side airflow uh, option and just using the top airflow option. Um, I'm going to bring it up close. I'm going to give you some specs, talk a little more about it, and then uh, we'll come out to uh, some FaceTime here and wrap it up. So uh, anyway, thanks for checking the video out. Let's get up close and personal with this Tugboat version 3. So this is the close-up on the Tugboat version 3. I have it all taken apart so that this will be faster and easier. When you purchase it, you get a Allen wrench, a washer, and a little hex screw. Top inside, airflow control, two-post design with hex screws, three-piece design, serialized peak insulators, and adjustable 510. As you can see, you have the Tugboat USA Flawless, just like version 1 and version 2. Um, I don't know what the contact is made out of. Your guess is as good as mine. Peak insulators around the 510. And uh, the negative is milled to the deck, or milled out of the deck. And the positive is held on by the positive pin. Um, I haven't tried loosening the positive pin or the 510 pin to see if I could sway the positive. Um post whatsoever and maybe adjust it so that I could do different builds or free up space on one side. I haven't tried any of that yet. This is still so new to me. I'm sure somebody will try or do it. But um, yeah, as you can see, the side airflow is beveled out of the side of the deck and I'm not going to pop this on because it's completely dry and it's damn near impossible to work with when it's dry. But just to give you an idea, floating it over top of it, to adjust it, all you would do is turn it to the left or to the right when it's on. And uh, simple as that, right? Super easy. 22 millimeter RDA, by the way. Um, going on to the top cap, as you can see, that's the new airflow control they have. There is a little wall on the top, and uh, there's two little holes drilled out on both sides. I don't know the dimensions of that like you know a mil a mil and a half two mil somewhere around there and uh yeah so basically just like i did with the deck i'll show you right here all you would do is turn it a little bit to the right or turn it a little to the left to close off either side um it doesn't have a single coil option but it's a two post design so i mean you could just throw a single in there and you could adjust the airflow and it's just as good as a single so i mean but that's my opinion um the top cap is held on by one washer but if it it's real good and snug but at the same time it's easy enough to pop off so you can adjust and i also like the airflow holes on the top because it kind of makes it a whole lot easier to pop this thing on and off when you do have it on I mean, you could just dig your finger in there and pop it off, which is pretty cool. All right, on to the 510. It's a friction fit uh, stainless steel 510. Um, no issues. My only qualm is it's not serialized, which I kind of wish it was, but not a huge deal. It's got a big, huge bore. Um, all 510s I've tried have fit on this, and uh, no issues there. Craftsmanship, by the way, is grade A, as is always, and uh, no machine oil, no burrs, nothing. Just super, super, super clean, um, no issues, everything is just nice. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I don't really have much else to say about this RDA. Um, this is what you get when you purchase it, and uh, here it is all broken down. Uh, I'll be doing another video of my, you know, final impression of it after I've used it for a week or two. 
And, uh, well, let's take it up to FaceTime and close it up. Alright, so that was my uh, up close and personal with the Tugboat version 3. Um, got it gutted now. I'm going to probably throw an anarchist build in there and uh, I'll probably take a picture of it on uh, Instagram. And, uh, yeah, probably post it on Twitter. If you follow me on either, you know, check it out. I'll leave links down below to my handle and, uh, you know, subscribe. Check me out. Um, I'm vaping this Playboy right now because I'm going to be doing a review of it soon. I'll be doing a unboxing and first impression of it, as well as the mini and the 65 watt temperature controlled uh, version of the Playboy mod. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I guess till next time, keep your cotton wet. This is Vaping Monkey, and I'll see you later.